using a plastic trim tool, I want to go ahead and remove this cover. Get it right behind the plastic cap, gently pry outward. You see the three little plastic lock tabs right here. Set that aside. Right behind the door handle pull here, there's a plastic cap. And there's a little notch on the top. I'm gonna to use a small pick. Just get up behind and underneath. Gently pull that out. Go ahead and set that part aside. Let's now go ahead and remove the face of the dual pull right here. Once again, I'm gonna use my pick. And then get in here, being careful not to mark up the plastics. Just get in right behind. Pull outward. And there are little metal retaining tabs here. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, go ahead and remove the screw right here. There's one going upward here, and then there's one up inside this door pull pocket right here. Using our door panel removal tool, I'm going to go ahead and set up on the upper right hand corner. I want to go ahead and release the plastic clips that are supporting or holding this to the door. All right. Once we get those loose, you can go ahead and grab the door panel. Shimmy it upward. There's going to be three bolts holding the mirror to the door itself. Two of them are visible. Third one is right behind this plastic cap. I'm going to use a pick, pop that cap off, and it'll be exposed underneath. We're going to use eight millimeter socket. Before we remove the last one, we're going to disconnect the mirror. Right on the front here, there'll be a little tab. I press in with the pick, grab the connector, and we'll go that out like so. Support the mirror. Remove the last screw. Feed your connector through. I'm going to use a Phillips head screwdriver just to get these started. Put the top one in to hold it in place. And go ahead and get the bottom ones lined up.
I'm going to go ahead and snug these down. Install your plastic cap. Grab your connector. Line that up. Snap that on. Go ahead and grab your door panel. Bring that up. Line the door panel back up on top of the door. Once that's on, go ahead and get your snaps lined up and get the door panel locked into place. Let's get our three screws we installed. Once you have the three screws installed, I'm gonna go ahead and install our pull here. And then up top, we can go ahead and install our trim piece here. Press that in and snap it into place. Let's install our trim panel for the back side of the mirror. And there you have it. Now have your mirror cap to pop on. There are all these little lock tabs that pop into these here. You want to be careful with it, line it up. 